Hey guys, it's Kevin from Park the Boat again. Um, I wanted to make another video because I've been on Facebook Marketplace just looking around <clears throat> a lot lately and um, came across some interesting listing here in the southern region in Texas in Corpus Christi here. Um, and there's somebody selling three separate slips as you can see right here in the red outlines. Um, looks like they were trying to sell them all for 7500 or 7500 each at the beginning, but now I talked to the guy today and he said $2,500 per slip. So I guess if you wanted to buy them individually, you could, I guess. <clears throat> That's what it sounded like. Um, but there's a couple major catches here. I think originally... This was the layout and there was the walkways and you know your pure uh, post pure po pure posts <laughs> um, and so you had you know your setup here and uh, this is not necessarily a marina or anything like that and I'll show you more in a minute but um, I just thought it was interesting um, it's a deeded boat slip um, it's for sale for trade um, and I did uh, confirm with him earlier that it was $2,500 for one slip of the three, or you could buy all three of them. Um, and then he was saying it's about eight foot deep on average in this area. Um, and this is coastal in the Gulf of Mexico, but it is inside the bay here, so it's not necessarily heavily affected by tidal levels. Um, I'm sure it is a little bit, but it's not as if you were just, you know, right out here on the coast. But um, anyways, it sounded like the average uh, depth was around 8 foot. And he said if you bought the slip, it would still run you about $65 a month to keep your boat out here. I assume that goes to the city or maybe to <clears throat> this apartment complex. Which I think it might actually be converted to condos now. I'm not really sure. Yeah, condominium. Um, so, so I just found it interesting. Um, and the reason why it's so cheap, and I imagine it probably each one would probably sell for ten thousand or more normally. But there was a hurricane a couple years ago, and it came through and tore out you know damaged all of the walkways and stuff like that so what's left standing right now looks like you've got this condition all the walkways are gone you still have the pier and beam post and beam whatever you want to call them here um, and it looks like you know you used to be able to see the walkways uh, obviously that's probably why it, it is so cheap but in my thought is if you buy you buy into something like this it's a deeded boat slip so you're gonna own it um, and you're not gonna really have a hefty monthly fee anymore $65 a month really is isn't that much and in this area they do have live aboard um, slips so especially in the entire Corpus Christi area it's way more friendly to liveaboards than a lot of other areas in the country. But I was thinking in my mind, eventually they're going to have to replace all of the walkways here. They're not going to just leave it as is indefinitely or permanently because I'm sure there's an insurance claim or some sort of insurance involvement here. Um, and at one time there were enough boat owners or boat dock slip owners in here um, to make enough of a difference to get you know the effort started and get things replaced so if you were to scroll out you've got you know some interesting things really close by you've got the the hospitals which is always good to have close by you never know um, and then there's like a large park area here you know walking trails and whatever you want to call them sidewalks um, and then there's just you know there's a you know 7-eleven gas station some other things pharmacy stuff like that and as you kind of 
go another couple blocks in, you're going to get to a bunch of restaurants and stuff like that. And then the downtown Corpus Christi area is like basically right in here. So it's real close to this park. And then it's probably, you know, half of a mile walk or so over to this area, which also has a few more, you know, waterfront restaurants here. Some really nice locations. And then here is the Corpus Christi Marina, which I know, at least as of 2022, had liveaboard slips here. Um, so it's just a lot more friendly towards liveaboards. I actually looked at their marina lease contract agreement, and you know, I think it's like an extra hundred dollars or an extra fifty dollars. It was some really low amount if you wanted to have a liveaboard fee added to your slip. Um, which the rates are actually really, really cheap to begin with, considering, you know, some of these boat slips are 35, 40 feet. And uh, I remember seeing, like, really, really low prices on these. But anyways, just wanted to kind of give you a overview of where this was. You have the bay here, and then you'd probably come in through Port Aransas. Seems like it would be one of the main routes. Um, but I don't know the area super well, so I could be wrong on that. But a beaded boat slip, two thousand five hundred dollars, and then if they did come in eventually with the uh, walkway replacements to fix those, I mean, how long does something like that take after a hurricane comes through and you have you know insurance claims? Is it you know a couple years? Is it, is it never? But um. It is interesting. It seems like something that if you were to be able to buy into it and things kind of improved and got better that, you know, you could sublease these. And I did ask him that and he said, yes, you can do that. Um, I also asked him how much interest he's had and he said it was quite a bit of interest. Um, but, you know, that's just as him saying that. I don't really know. But um, I found that pretty interesting. Um, I don't see any other details but that's pretty much I was able to gather from him and then tomorrow I'll probably ask him a few more questions about you know this con who actually really kind of manages this you know it's not a marina but who manages this area is it connected to this condominium do they own it or do they you know oversee it or something so I'll do a little more research on that and then I just plan on asking them about if they will ever replace these or if there's a plan to or anything like that. I don't know if he even knows, but I assume he lives here at the condos and he owns those. So there may be some catch where you have to actually own a unit here in the condo or rent a unit here. And then you can have your boat out here. I don't know what the rules are yet. That's that for right now. That's all I wanted to kind of share for that. But I did have one other interesting uh, listing here back out in Missouri again, Lake Ozark. Um, this person is a private uh, boat slip owner, residential homeowner basically, um, and they are they are uh, putting up for lease a couple of boat slips in their backyard here, I guess. Um, one's 250 a month for a, I think it's a, somehow it got cut off here. Let me close out of my, yeah, so here it's a 14 by 28 for $250 a month. It's covered, um, and it looks like they may have some minor amenities. I haven't, uh, heard back from them yet. Um, and the other is a 16 by 38 for 350 a month. Um, so it's apparently back on a nice little cove with a no wake zone. Um, and here it says the 11 mile marker of, of the, the lake there. It's kind of a windy, long uh, lake that's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like a river, but it's a lot wider in certain areas. Currently, there's no bo uh, boat lift here, but I guess it looks like they're saying if you want to put one in there, you could. 
So I think this this one right here is this one because there's the bridge and then here's the bridge again. I think that's the 38 foot one. I could be wrong. It could be the 28 footer. That might be the 28 foot. It's hard to tell. And then if you look at this one, here's another one they have. I feel like this could potentially be the the 38 footer because it sticks out pretty far. You can see it kind of sticks out here further than any of the other pictures. Yeah, this is probably 38 foot. It's really hard to tell. I don't know. But again, it's fully covered and it looks like in a couple of the pictures, here's kind of like their canal where it's can located. But it looks like in a couple of pictures they have, you know, power here. I don't know if you can see that, but right in that area, it looks like they have electricity. It looks like they have like a swim dock off to the side over here. I don't know if that's theirs or not. Um, and again, you know, they don't give it an exact location. So it'd be somewhere in somewhere in this area. Let's see, Lake of the Ozarks. Um, but if I was to zoom out, you got Osage Beach over in this area. And then the Memorial Airport. So it's kind of in that vicinity but um, as you can see it just kind of snakes around like a river and it goes on and on it doesn't look like a massive lake on this little, little map here but it is miles and miles worth of waterways and all these different you know inlets and stuff like that so um, I wish I knew the, the area here a little better because there's probably a marina or something nearby where you could do you know, fuel up, um, or you could maybe even pump out if you had a holding tank on your boat. But um, I haven't seen any other information. I do know that they do not allow liverboards at this location. I do know that because I did talk to one other boater who was inquiring about this um, rental here, and he said they did not allow liverboards, which is what he was looking for. So I do know that for sure. Um, but still, um, this is actually a pretty good price range for kind of like what you see here, what you, what you get. It seems like a really good price range. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share. Um, I may put up another video if I hear back from the owner. I may get some more information about this property here so if I do I will include that and if I get any more pictures or anything else I'll also include that too um, I'm basically just sharing these things because um, not too long ago I was looking for you know uh, a boat slip and I just kind of got to thinking I wonder if there's going to be any private listings where people you know do this kind of setup out of their backyard or you know off to the side of their house they have a dock or something um, and the reason why I thought about that was because um, I was looking for some int more interesting kayaking adventures and just you know not just kayaking but boating related and I kind of got to thinking about this and that was around 2018 or 2019 um, and back then I thought, you know, well, there's got to be like an app or something. So I went on to like the Google Play Store and I was like searching around, okay, residential dock rental or, you know, private dock rental, um, you know, service or something like that. I then didn't find anything at all. So kind of like just, you know, tabled the idea and just kind of let it go for a minute. But um, that's kind of how it started, um, even though there's more to the story. But for right now, that's all I'm going to share because the videos get a little bit long here um, but uh, for the most part between 2018 2019 um, nobody had really thought of it yet or nobody had really come to the conclusion that's what they wanted to do was like a homeowner who had an empty dock or a vacant dock that sat for you know a majority of the year without a boat in it um, so I don't, I don't think people had necessarily thought about it, um, but now it's becoming more and more, I guess, common or just um, 
So maybe the word is spread about, you know, people on the lake doing this, but I know it's been happening for years, but still it just wasn't something I was able to come across until more recently. So I don't know if that's a historical thing or what, or if it's a new thing, I don't know. That's all I wanted to share for right now, and I'll continue to share more information um, and give you more background on all of this as we go along and look at other listings.